Jacob Contra Bogan was an active kid. I want to be an all-American kid, like do everything, and I stayed busy, which was always good. Good because life wasn't easy for Jacob and his sister, who were separated and placed in the state's care when he was 12. Like foster care, you have some like lonely times and boys home, groups home, so um, you, it's not always easy to wake up in the morning and be happy. The Bogans worked hard to reunite and eventually adopt Jacob and his sister. Parents don't always get to pick their kids and they got to pick me and my sister. In eighth grade, the Bogans got Jacob baseball equipment. He practiced every day with dreams of making the school team but he didn't. I was bad. I wasn't very good. Jacob got back to work and his persistence paid off. Condra Bogan eventually made the high school team. He went on to college and played a year in indie ball before getting picked up by the Royals, learning to succeed through failure. And But it was okay to fail as long as you just kept playing. I couldn't let the baseball field dictate my happiness. While Condra Bogan has made an immediate impact in Lexington with a 2.38 ERA and 31 strikeouts in 22 innings, he can never be sure how long baseball will last. So Condra Bogan decided on a plan B. I was the first person in my biological family to ever go to college and get a degree. Very blessed to go to the next level and get my master's. And I don't know, I definitely feel accomplished. The Legends pitcher only finished his classes in June. Balancing professional baseball with a master's program has been hectic. But this is his dream. And baseball, his second family. And that's probably the biggest thing about baseball is the relationships you build, they're forever. And I mean, that's, that's a lot coming from someone who felt very alone at certain points in their life. Kaylee Mizell, WKYT. Kaylee Mizell, Fox 56 Sports Extra.